Archaeologists in Colonial Williamsburg have made an incredible discovery. The remains of a Revolutionary War barracks. The site was discovered last summer and the group is giving us access to the artifacts. 10 a North Side's Ashley Knight shows us. It's a really exciting find that was actually unearthed while they were doing construction on the upcoming sports center. These barracks were built in 1776 and used to house soldiers from 77 to 81 when they were burned down by British General Charles Cornwallis on his way to Yorktown. Most of the artifacts at the archaeological lab in Colonial Williamsburg stay in a drawer. However, when you got really cool artifacts, you do want to see them and we pull them out. Remains of a Revolutionary War barracks found when crews were making way for a new sports center near the visitor center. Jack Gary is executive director of archaeology. This is a gun flint. So it's the stone that goes into a flintlock musket that makes the spark that makes the gun go off. And then here's one of the lead musket balls. The barracks housed 2,000 Continental soldiers and at least 100 horses. We have horseshoes. We also have this object here, which is a snaffle bit. So it's part of a, a horse bit that goes in the mouth to, to control the horse. And this object here is part of a curry comb for brushing down the horse's coat. It was an exciting discovery for Gary, who says it answered a lingering question. All that again came together for us to finally say this is it. This is the location of a site that we've known about for a long time, but never known exactly where it was. So. Excited about the story these artifacts will tell, one that we really haven't heard before. And we don't have a whole lot of sites that, that really tell us about what actually happened during the wartime. And this site does. And some weird history, what soldiers did when they were bored, including biting on lead shots. Those dimples are teeth marks. Right now it's kind of a, we know that it's there, but now the next step is, let's figure out what it was really like for those men who were stationed at the barracks. The area has been covered up now while construction on the sports center resumes. They hope to go back to excavating in 2026. It's the 250th anniversary of when the barracks were built and when the U.S. declared independence. In Colonial Williamsburg, Ashley Knight, 10 on your side.